I received an unsolicited dick pic the other day. <laughs> Made me really miss like the good old days when we were little and people would flirt with each other by like leaving notes in each other's cubbies that say, do you like me? And you can check off yes or no. And if you're me, you can always check off no. A message to every dick owner out there. Nobody wants to see it unless they explicitly tell you that they want to see it. Right? It's so funny too, because anybody who knows me in real life knows that I am like the worst person to send a dick pic to, just for so many reasons. So, yeah, that individual got blocked online. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be looking through my middle school yearbook and probably cringing a lot. It's pretty good at being invisible in middle school. And like, just on the opening section, I can see my best friend a lot in here, which is weird because we were like inseparable, and yet I see a lot of her and none of me. And I also see a picture of the cheer squad, which I was on, but no me. <laughs> the first teacher on here, she was a horrible woman, and I'm not gonna show her picture or her name or anything because that would be terrible of me, but she was just like the worst person ever and I used to like leave class and go cry in the bathroom because she hated me so much. I wasn't allowed to doodle in class, in her class, which was weird because I doodled in every other class. Um, I've mentioned this in I think one other video, but I, in high school I went to a special school for being gifted, it's a dumb word, but um, and basically when your brain works like mine, you tend to finish your schoolwork faster and also get very bored and distracted a lot faster. So the only way that I could get stuff done was by also doodling in class. Because she told me one time that I was going to fail her class because I never did anything. Which was BS because I did plenty of stuff and I did well on all my tests and stuff. But she told me I like wasn't going to do well and I got the academic award, which basically just means you have like the highest grade in your school. Yeah, I got the academic award in her class. I had like a 95. True friendship. Found my class. <laughs> I don't think you guys are ready for this. I don't know if you're ready to see the horror that is 12 year old Sydney. There she is, folks. That is the nightmare that I used to be. Found some more pictures of the cheer squad. So I actually, I found myself in the yearbook. Ew. This is a picture of the entire squad, um, and just my foot. Nice. My favorite thing ever. There I am, right on the end. I was a Wickersham brother. So I finally found, like, the, the club's sports section, and I was looking at all the different sports teams, and I found the cheerleading squad, and I'm not in the picture, as per usual. The teacher who hated me was the leader of drama club. So, if anyone who knew me in middle school ever wonders why I wasn't in drama club back then, even though I am like the definition of a drama club kid, that's why. And I thought this would make me like nostalgic for middle school, but it's actually just me looking at myself and going, oh god.